everyone, Matt the Cat here, and welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. When we last left off, we made it to the x Not Fortress and encountered another Thwomp quiz, and <laughs> oh boy, I had so much fun with him, and in this episode, we're here in the crane room, and we're gonna start the crane game. It's not required to complete the chapter, so, okay, let's see. I believe it was left, right, metal. It looks like I got it right. So, right here, you'll notice that there are two badges. Those are feeling fine badges, and there's also a star piece as well. So, we, we might as well get that star piece. The crane will move left. As long as you hold down A, and it'll move backwards for as long as you hold down B. So we go like that. And... Boom. Match it up like that, and it should hopefully carry that star piece. I'm surprised that it was able to get a good grip on it despite that... It's all in 2D, and it's really hard to distinguish if it got it or not. It also looks like one of those Sega Genesis... Well, not Sega Genesis, like those Sega crane game machines. It has the exact same design of the claw. So we're just gonna get this feeling fine badge. Lovely. <laughs> I mean, it certainly looks like it's feeling fine to me. It loves being picked up and dropped on the floor like a baby. <laughs> okay, no. Don't do that to kids, by the way. Their brains will get severely damaged, and I do not want to be held responsible for any of this, so don't do anything that I just said. But we got the feeling fine badges, so now... The Feelin' Fine Badges, these are my favorite badges in the entire game. And in my opinion, well, important, well, badges, you can equip whatever you want. Like, there's no wrong answer for equipping badges, but... Oh, it just needs four? Okay, we can do that. But, uh, Feelin' Fine Badges makes you immune to poison or dizziness. Doesn't sound bad at first, but you know what? Eh. Actually, I could just unequip this one and... There we go. I got one for me and one for my partner. Now, I got one more. What do I... I got ice power. But I'm not sure if I'll, uh... There's a super appeal for my partner. I'm just going through all of this. Close call, charge, not sure if I need that. There's so many different strategies you can use. There's really no wrong answer, no matter which badge you equip. Um, I think I'll just equip ice power. I don't think we'll be fighting uh, iced enemies, but, you know, something good to have. So yeah, <laughs> we got, in my opinion, the best badge in the entire game, and, uh, ooh, good lord. What is with enemies carrying items? You know what? I'm just gonna run away. Take my money, I don't care. I already, I'm gonna max out on coins anyway. <laughs> it's right next to Bobbery. Why is he not collecting it? Sub-level two, here we go. And once again, Bobbery's cog is clipping through the door. Oh! That hurt. Okay. Well, 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 we meet again. Actually... Wait, Bobbery, you... Oh, you can. You just can't attack the yucks. Okay, well, in that case... Neither him. Well, Mario can jump on it, so I'll just normal jump. Alright, not bad. 
It's nice convenience since uh, Bobbery, since he can only fight enemies on the ground. I thought this wasn't gonna work since uh, Bobbery can only attack enemies in front of him. Oh no! Hmm. Big, big problem. Let's see. Let's try this. Oh no. Oh no. What have I done? I made another big mistake. Okay, Bobbery, you can. Oh, you can just attack that. Okay. Finish off the scientist. And, uh, Mario, you can just jump on the enemy. And I think I'll use this time to switch out to Vivian. Yeah, I, I could have switched to Vivian. What am I doing wasting all my, uh... Oh! Well, okay, now I know that doesn't work. Bobbery, switch out for Vivian. Mario, jump on the enemy. There we go. Okay, good dodge, Vivian. Um, whoa, why is the game slowing down? I have no idea why it did that, but oh well. There we go, easy as pie. Hey, double experience. I will take that. Thank you. Thank you very much. I want to upgrade my BP, but next in the line is FP, so I'm going to have to wait on that. Oh, I just heard another enemy encounter. Nope, that's the teleporter. Oh yeah, I got that elevator key. I should probably put that in its place. Wish I could fight you, but I... Oh lord. He's definitely going to get me as I try to escape, isn't he? Okay, I believe there was one grate that I forgot to fell in. Also, before I recorded this, I went back to the moon and got that star piece that I missed out on. So, uh, oh, it's the potion room. What's over here? Notice of the new cinema topic galloping towards an era of risk-free potions. Participation is not voluntarily. Nope. Not uh uh Not this time, you nitrous embryo wannabe. <laughs> Woo! It's another one of those puzzle things. If you kind of concentrate a little bit hard, you can actually see the map of the layout. So, uh... Well, that wasn't so bad. I got a card key! Yippee! Sleepy Sheep, I don't need that. I don't need Sleepy Sheep! Sleepy Sheep is for quitters! I don't need it! This elevator that we need to activate? Nope, this is the one we've already been. Let's keep heading down. It's gotta be one of these. Oh, it's definitely that one. Yes, yes. Ah! I just want to go in the door. Why won't you let me? Vivian, please burn them into smithereens for me, will you? Oh lord, I pressed the wrong button. But oh well, it did good enough damage anyway. So you know what, Vivian? You did good! Oh lord, why do I keep messing the timing of the button presses? Oh lord, I think Vivian might die. Nope, never mind. Oh, Lord Vivian. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Yeah, this is why I always put Mario in front of the enemies. 
There we go. Uh, Vivian, what can I do with you? Um... I could use a soup. Yeah. I always knew I would use these one day. Now's the perfect time for me to use it. Why are you always going for Vivian? Uh-oh. Maybe I should have kept should have kept my mouth shut. Okay, whatever. Get rid of that guy. No, 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 Vivian. No, 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 no. Just, just punch him. There we go. Finishes off. Well done. That's a lot of star points. Not gonna lie. Okay, here. A little more health for you, Vivian. Not gonna hurt one bit. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, this is Grotus's security room, but strangely enough, he's not here. And there's Karki. <laughs> His guard dog. That's the most powerful yucks in the entire game. If I were to get the, the quiz wrong, I would have had to fight like... Actually, you know what? Let's fight him. What could possibly go wrong? There's only one of them anyway. Maybe you can just punch. Seems to be immune to fire. Now, he spawns two of them. Oh yeah. Yeah, if you have Vivian, this is a no-brainer. Just use Fiery Jinx. And since he's already low on health, we'll just finish him with, uh... I am not having it. I am not gonna get screwed up by a normal fight. Prevent this attack, Fog! Oh. There we go. <laughs> For a second I thought it did. One of the waves didn't actually hit him. When it comes to Fog, just either use Bobbery or Earth Tremor. That's my pro tip for you. Thank you very much. All right, I think we did enough forcing around. Let's just enter right here. So we got two card keys. Let's go to sub-level three. All right. Going deeper in the belly of the beast. Be stupid. Thank you. Thank you so much for being stupid. So I don't have to fight you. Oh, yes. It's Follow the Snake. I could get that item box, but it's probably going to be an item that I don't need. So I'm not going to break it open just yet. And oh my goodness, Vivian. Oh, Vivian, I, I, I feel so bad for her. She's screwing this all up. Oh, Vivian. Oh, oh, Vivian. Oh, this, this, this really is bad. I, I'm sorry, Vivian. We, we have to do this to get the card keys. So far, we're doing very good. Whoop. Try to troll me there. Not good enough. Okay, Vivian. You can rest easy now. The electrocution panels are no more. Uh, I don't need that. So if my pockets get full, I'll just dump that out. Hey! Ah, dang it, he's smart. Very smart. Very smart. Um... No thanks. I think I'm good. Bye! 
Sayonara! Hmm, actually... Let's check the bottom floor. That's got... Peaches in this fortress. I mean, for some reason, Grotus isn't here, so... Maybe you must have done something to Peach. This is where she is right here! Wait. Where is she? She's supposed to be right here! I mean, Mario's not supposed to know that, but the player, yeah, he's... Ah! What the frick? What are you doing in the sour, you freaking pervert? Get out of there! Just one of you, thank God. Oh, hi, Luigi. I would have been ashamed if there were more than one of you guys, but... Nope. Just one of you. Respect privates. Don't be a pervert. Oh, yeah. Yeah, spoiler alert. We're, we're too late. I mean, us as the player knows this, but... Our main protagonists? Nope, they don't know this. And it's not like we can scream at the TV like, You idiots! You're too late! You missed out on Rescue and Peach! No, that, that's not how this game works. That's whatever. So, ah! Ah, dang it! Ooh! Ooh! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna... Here we go. There we go. That's that's got to do it. <laughs> technically technically that wasn't a bad idea, but you're still screwed. Let's see if this works. Ah, that was pretty close. There we go. That fight wasn't so bad. Oh, what's this? It's an HP Plus badge. I don't need it, but I'll certainly take it. This must be where we put all the keys in. Now that we have all three, we can enter the store! Let's see what we get. Ooh! Ah, it's a factory! Yeah. Nuh uh uh! You don't throw potions in my turf! Technically, this is your factory. Oh, what do you have here? I'm sorry, sir, but I believe I'm going to have to confiscate that super shroom from you. There we go. Problem solved. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts both of us. Ah, Vivian. Oh, Vivian. Oh, Vivian. Uh... Showstopper will defeat your enemies with a single blow. We haven't even tried out Sweet Feast yet, so let, let's do that. It's basically Sweet Treat, but this time you get to heal your partners more with more HP and FP. Oh, and the Poison Mushrooms are still there. Good to know. There we go, now that was the sweetest feast of all time. Now let's just take it easy. You don't want to go too crazy on these guys. Just take them out one by one. Oh, that hurts. Oh, dodgy. That can't be good. Um, we'll focus on him later. Oh, 
Ooh, I almost pressed the wrong button there, but it's okay. Great. Just what I need. Fog. Bobbery. Blow them to smithereens. There we go. Uh-oh. Looks like you're screwed. <laughs> You've miscalculated. Oh my goodness. More double experience. Yippee! <laughs> you see, guys? The more fights you win, the more double experience you're guaranteed to collect. No, not really. This is all random luck, but I'll take it anyway. Wait. Oh, right. We gotta activate it. And how do we do that? We do this. Now that the switch is on, the conveyor belt will start moving. We're gonna switch over to Vivian right here. Duck under this. And, uh, there's nothing hidden behind these pipes. Not even a secret. Lame. Whatever. I wonder if you can get crushed. Let's find out. Nope. Nope, it just barely. What if it's like one of those crushing animations from, like, <laughs> From, like, one of the, the classic Sonic games where it's not even enough space to crush Sonic and then Sonic just dies. Imagine if it's like that. But in a Paper Mario game, imagine how angry it would... Imagine how bad it would insult the players. And I see an Ultra Mushroom and I want to try to get it. I got it! Sweet! Now all I need is some jam and jellies, and boom, I will craft the best healing item I could possibly make. Uh, this really is grinding my gears, am I right? Eh, <laughs> get it? Grind gears. Okay, I deserve to fall for that. And oh boy, it's another yuck! Actually, you know what? Ah, frick! I hammered you just the right time. You cannot sternly look at me in the eye and say, No, you missed. That ain't how it works! Ha, now there's only one of you. What are you gonna do about it now? Okay, I just hang on with one HP. Yeah. That's okay, I guess. Alright. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Right. Now we can finally spend all these coins. There's another card key. Oh, how convenient. It takes me all the way back here. Thanks, game designers. For making me backtrack. Because everyone loves backtracking, am I right? Uh, no. Not really. But we can all agree that this is not as bad as hunting for General White. That that was pretty terrible. Does this pipe lead here? Yes, it does, but... I can go through here. Uh huh? Oh, okay. Alright, so now I'm up here. Now, 
if I remembered correctly, this will lead me to a uh, paper plane gliding segment. This pipe right over here. Yep, I was right. And whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go, I got the card key. What do frickin' do? Why did I go there? Like, I mean, I guess there was no other way for me to go, so I... I guess I will travel here. Good thing Vivian's long elastic leg is allowing her to stretch to other places to stay with Mario. Otherwise, this would have been a big pain for sure. I mean, with Flory, she can just float, I mean, because she doesn't have any legs. Just... Now, what's over here? There has to be, like, some sort of switch. Yep, it's a switch. But most importantly, it's a secret! Insert card key right here, and, uh, this is where the boss of Chapter 7 is, right behind that door. But, I'm all out of time for this video. Next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, we're gonna confront this boss and figure out where exactly Peach is and get the final Crystal Star. That was all the time that I got for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next video. Meow meow.